birdie. It really is a good day to die. You even know what that phrase means? Of course. It's a phrase about living, not dying. It's about fighting bravely in a fierce battle, surviving, and returning to your homeland afterwards. Yes, because night shot it. Because there really is no good day to die until you must always live for today. But let this be the finale. Then let's go. You ready to experience the day? Hey twin, if y'all boys wanna cop yourself some drip like cool anime necklaces, clothing, and LED lights, go over and mess with my dogs at Anime Express. They blessed your boy with a cool little sponsorship. So use code FRANKU10 at checkout for 10% off. It helps me get my revenue up, cause I ain't gonna lie, YouTube been chopping my shit down, boy, that shit crazy. But yeah, back to the actual video now. Boom, we cut to a top tier YN trying to get himself locked up. That is a crazy first sentence of video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is where JFK got his top blown off his shoulders. Will it happen to Bush? I mean, we'll see. Huh? What just happened? They just snatched the president. What do you mean they snatched the president? Jit, look! Apparently, he's in one of those buildings. Do you know what you just did? What do you mean? Kidnapping you? What else would I mean? You know what? What do you even want? Simple. Put me in Arizona State Prison. You talking about the place where I wrote up black nigga? Whoa, Mr. President. I know we're in Texas, but you can't say that word. But yes, the home of Biscuit Oliveira. And what happens if I say no? I don't think you want to find out. Fine. All right, call them boys up. Oh, Mr. President, you need... What now? $30? For what? Big booty Ebony's. And just like that, Baki's heading to Arizona State Prison. Bruh, first of all, you know how I'm saying you gotta be able to snatch the president in broad daylight? The boy Baki's tripping. Baki entered the prison and first thing you see is bare butt cheeks. I ain't even finna show all that on YouTube because it's gonna get me cut. But something was off. They found something in a random body and started taking him away. And y'all already know what that means. They finna be wrist deep in his guts, yo. Not bad, kid. Your body's a work of art. Oh, my bad. I got carried away. But I'm guessing you're here to meet Mr. Unchained. This way, Mr. Unchained will be waiting to see you. Oh, also, don't make eye contact with any other prisoners. Nah, these dudes are some weirdos. Hey! <laughs> Let me eat a jam from your butt! What the? This all for one man? Go ahead, bro. Welcome, Mr. Hanma. Want a drink? Nah, I'm good. What you need, young buck? You trying to box or something? If so, you gotta work your way up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who said anything about boxing? Nigga, I'm trying to really fight. <laughs> huh? Pipe down, young buck. Listen, I'm fighting number two next week. So work your way up the ranks, and then you can meet me. Yeah, Biscuit Buffett is a freak of nature. Brothers take their punch from arguably the third strongest man in the world. Cut, got it. Bucky's took to his set, and we see... God, hold on. I got a voice like that nigga Mike Tyson, yo. Yo, it's good. Baki ain't expect to see you here. Mike Tyson? God, why you in here, bitch? Well, you know me, man. Punk okay, cracker ran up with me talking about you can't have that tiger in here, so I bit his ear off. Oh, no, nah, you tweaking, cuz. Hey, you must be the number two guy, though, right? Nigga, I ain't even top ten in this junk, cuz. What? Yeah, man, no one ain't no joke, cuz. Hey, just shut up. I ain't trying to have number two hear us. They got that boy Mike scared of this prison. I repeat, the same Mike Tyson that be trying to bite niggas' ears off in matches. We get the introduction to number two and cuz is a straight demon. Bro was sleeping in the room closet and said, I don't need the rest, I'm a warrior. Yeah, all right. We finna see after that fight with Biscuit if you really like that. Hey, I said everyone out! They teach this drunk like it's the military. All right, you know the rules. If you talking back, you will get took off the map. If you look at me wrong, you will get took off the map. And if your skin is black, you will be clapped. <sighs> Did you hear me? Hey, what's for breakfast? Pork and beans and hot dogs. Did I tell you to speak, maggot? Okay, hold on now. Number two name hold a little bit of weight. Bro is getting more than special treatment. Bro just took the cop's blick and killed a fly on his dome with it. But the beefy out with this random dude was even more crazy than what he did to this poor cop. Look, that's it for the fade number two. So you number two, huh? Mm. Yo, that little sweet. You see this spoon? I can turn into anything I want. They did not for something, shit. I don't know. I'm gonna hand this to you. When I do... I want you to fight for your ass. What? Hey, freeze! Fight for my what? Do you know what they call me in the hood? What do they call you, big guy? Because me, you look like a soon-to-be victim. They call me Mr. Walk em Down and molest em. How about you take this? And do your worst. You think I won't blow this junk? Shut up! Oh. 
Hey, big guy, you're a sumo wrestler, right? Let's get active then. Guevara and the big dude start having a sumo match, and the big dude is perplexed. Cuz cannot lift up Guevara. Then this is something I can only say will happen in a Baki video. Cuz, I, I kid you not, bro. He hits the big dude in his ear, then plucks one of his own hairs, puts the hair in the big dude's destroyed ear, and then, I don't know, like, somehow wraps it around his eardrum, slices that junk like some fucking carrots in that bit, causing the big dude to lose balance. What, what was the dude smoking when he made this fight, bro? That's not even the worst part of the fight. Fight. After he lost, brother, big dude got domed by the cop for no reason. Hey, Baki, what it is, cuz? Don't act like we cool, bro. You already know what it is. And what's good? No talking, huh? This is easier than it looks. Y'all got it, though. Maybe that uh wasn't the smartest thing I could have done. The old man gives Baki some food and we get some info on Guevara. We find out he was a president of his country and he was a crash out pirate YN, bruh. But after a few years, Jit just became an anti-hero pretty much. He started helping free his people, but Bush heard about this and was finna boom the whole island, but them boys was moving in silence. I'm talking about crazy, bruh. They got Bush held captive and they was starting to crash a plane and a nuclear power plant. Excuse me, what? Hey, George Bush. Does this look familiar? How in the world is he at my house? Someone please tell me now. Hold it up. I didn't know your wife was this friendly. You already know what's gonna happen after this camera turn off. But hey, call them bombs off though, Jit. Got it? Bet. We see the government so scared of the big three they watching them boys with satellites and this is what y'all should have been doing with Diddy, oh freak ass. What's y'all two lovebirds doing in here? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Did I say you can talk? I ain't finna do my dog like that, Baldy. Is that so? Bet. It's over before you snowflake. Ah! Hope my nuts talking all reckless. Huh? Whoa! Ah! Oh! I got you. Don't drop me. Don't worry, little guy. Not bad, kid. Baki don't made a corrupt cop change his ways. Hey, we need little bro in real life. Bet no cap. After that, though, they had Baki and Mike Tyson in this bit looking like they was in John Henry. And I know the old heads understand that reference right there. Then we learned them boys are trying to take out Mike Tyson so he wouldn't become the heavyweight champion again. So they send him a mouth, which is pretty much the masters of jumping, bit. So what's up with y'all? Y'all trying to box? Well, too. What do you think? Because it's crazy athletic. I was thinking the same thing. What? He's only three. 3.2 times stronger than the normal man. Oh, nah, G, y'all finna have to square up. Well, let's get it, Mike. We're really finna do you bad. <laughs> Fugazi ad, nigga. Run it. <laughs> Catch me if you can. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Damn, man. Got some hoes running away. <laughs> yeah. They treating that boy Mike like he got drunk and couldn't leave the freak off with Diddy. Oh, nah. Y'all got it. Oh yeah, Mike, lock in! Not bad, Mike. Unfortunately for you, we finna cut your ass. Well, that was easy. These dudes proceed to slime out Mike Tyson. Like, I'm talking about they straight stomping Mike ass. Like, that boy was getting it bad. They was finna off Mike, but the GOAT came in and... Why is this nigga rolling, babe? You know what? I gotta remember, it's Baki. So y'all thought I wouldn't notice y'all sliming out my boy Mike? Oh, would you look at that? Such an amazing sight. Huh? Oh, look at you three. You know we finna do you like how we did Mike, right? Huh? Don't move, don't move. Just let it happen. Uh, that was good. What is wrong with you, yo freak guy? Alright, take your best shot. Get him! Oh yeah, fuck it up. Man, that was weak. Win. Is he tripping right now? Tie, tie. Time to set sail. Now let's do this. Do you think you raw because you put some mud on your face? We're in an even more deadly formation now. Wow, look at you up there. You look like a scared cat in a tree. Oh no, I'm not hanging with him. Look at you. Finally came down. Y'all just was sorry. Hey, deputy, clean this up. Huh? Iron Mike. That was amazing stuff right there, man. Like, I never seen a punch like that in my life. That was like, that one punch, it's on like two. Oh, how flattering. I feel like a little white girl being complimented by Travis Hunter. No real talk, though. Thank you, man. No problem, Mike. You know I got you, cuz. Mr. Guevara, listen, even if you lose your fight with Oliver, I don't care. I'm still sorry, but I won't let you be my boyfriend. Hey, what? Hold up, I heard fight. Hey, Jet, chill. 
What's good with you? You already know what I'm on. I like the fact you standing on business. Unfortunately for you, I fight for another. Oh, a little special someone. I can't wait for sure to see your face pounded in. All right, I had enough of this junk, cut. When am I fighting? Make a move. This hornball biscuit is over again off at a handkerchief and... Sorry, narrator, but I gotta do this. Huh, Guevara, take a sniff. My bad if you instantly climax. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You gazy ass nigga. Alright, so it's finally fight day. We see against to Oliveira Shorty, and he got himself a little snow bunny who's been on Twitter a little too much recently. And it's like, Doc Baki couldn't get any weirder. Gun started crushing his wife, and you know what? We just gonna cut straight to the fight. Oh yeah! Number two! Go get him! Come on, go! Did he just have intro music? Oh snap! It's big dog in town! Whoa! Oh yeah! Oh my god, he brought his girl! I bet she fine! Oh me, she probably look like Braun Megan Fox! I bet she dumb thick! <laughs> Hurry up! I guess you was right about her being dumb thick. Talk about massive. That bit look like Respucia from Norbit. Yeah, Biscuit is not doing no favors for the black community, Ben. This nigga don't pop out with a white chick the size of a whale. And look at her ankles! Junks look like pieces of meat from One Piece. Biscuit don't jumped out of his suit and Guevara opens the jar with the same hurricane that had Tallahassee in it. Now I'm thinking, oh, yeah, it's time they finna square up. No, bruh, that I was completely wrong. They're playing a game called Lose or Lose, bruh. It's pretty much you both hold like a bandana or a handkerchief while y'all just give each other CTE. You ready, kid? Let's dance. It's definitely not getting knocked out for one of these, man. But I don't need to knock him out. I just need to give him a tiny concussion and make him let go for a second. Huh? Come on, now you using both those hands, bro. You acting like a female. Don't worry though. I'll change my grip too. How's this? Something right. You're a move. Uh, gotcha. Uh. Oh now look at you. Clutching on the heart isn't very cool. Uh. I can't believe I'm really getting embarrassed like this. It's like, nigga, I'm just kidding. What? Look down, I'm not even old in this bit. Oh, you're pinching down with all your strength. You know what? Bet that. Ugh, I'm over this junk, huh? Hey, bet, you seeing it? Um, young man. What are you doing? Oh, shut up. You ain't man doing nothing but playing your fugazi ass game. Now, fight like real men. I'm sorry. Ugh. Ugh. It's over. Ugh. Not bad, Maria. You know if you want to cuddle anytime, I love taking something down as big as you. Hold up now. This ain't over yet. Yes. Oh, it's thinker. Yes, I hold. In a stormy night. Yes, I hold. Raise up the sails. Yes, I hold. The stars is our guide. Let's get it cracked. We thought it'd be that easy. <laughs> Looks like you're stronger than I thought. Guess I'll hit you for real. <laughs> you know what? This is a good day. You're right. It's a very good day to die. Sit your eye down. Good day to die. You even know what that phrase means? Of course. It's a phrase about living, not dying. It's about fighting bravely in a fierce battle, surviving, and returning to your homeland afterwards. Yes, because of nightiality. Because there really is no good day to die. And so you must always live for today. But let this be the finale. Then let's go. You ready to experience the second day? Hey, I got someone that wants to meet you. Good stuff, strongest man. we we'll never say that. What's happening? Just like that, the fight is over. We found out bro was hallucinating that whole time. Vintage man Bisky Oliveira reveals bro is pretty much the Hulk. I'm talking about an absolute monster. Bro I said if he stopped holding back his muscles, that drink will become the size of a building. What? First of all, Baki ain't even having none of that. And that's some real shit because I wouldn't believe a man if he said that either. Isn't that amazing? Put me down. My bad, cuz. 
Let's go. My bad, Baki. You know I was capping. Of course he was. My body was really made to make love to this beautiful woman right here. I'm talking about, I'll be picking up. I'll be having that joint sound. The drum line. I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, stop. Yeah, um, I don't know what they say after that. Y'all remember how Cena said he cracked the chick that was like 260? This man Biscuit over here cracking a shorty that's like 890. I'm talking about 890. That bitch is huge, bro. My boy Guevara returned back to his island and decided to get right with his people and himself. Meanwhile, Baki was really finna show why he liked that for real. All right, maggots, you know the deal. Um, huh? What was that, punk? You gotta use the potty. Can I go outside? You know, just for some fresh air. Cut what? Made you fall for it. Ah! Don't move! Sorry for this. Ah! Freeze! <laughs> it's not bad, boys. Fire! Ah! 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 You won't be going any further than this. Might as well turn around. Nah. Why are you even doing this? I don't know. I thought I'd just become, you know, unchained. Is that so? Yeah, it is. You talking all crazy like we don't have you surrounded. Let me guess. You believe you can get out of this situation? Most deaf. Oh, word. What about now? I like my odds. Really? What makes you think you can escape? Because I already did. Oh, yeah. What? You ain't even noticed. I broke them joints a couple of minutes ago. See, you got it tally too close. Same with all your bodyguards. I took a button off each of their shirts. Oh, hey. And just in case if you didn't notice, that's the button sitting right on top of the weakest point in someone's store. So y'all had so much faith in your guns. Now, see, there's way too many options to take all you guys out now. Man, stop listening to this kid. Blow his ass. Oh man, looks like they're nervous. That's bad news for you, Warden. They understand that and are actually the hostage in the situation. Now, Warden, put your hand on my shoulder. Now! Well, would you look at that? Open up the door! And game over. Looks like I really am, Mr. Unchained. All right, now go ahead, cuff me. Look at that. What's wrong? Does my freedom bother you? Oh, I hope you don't think you're on my level. If I'm able to go outside whenever I please, if I use any weapons and come back whenever I want. What's the difference between me and you? Now get your big ass and that watertight Pokemon you sleeping with back inside! You know what? You right. Good dog. Yeah, Baki's is cold, bro. Jick out on her biscuit skin like crazy. Then after that, we get this really crazy scene of Cub peeing on Baki. And you, you know what? I'm just gonna play it. Huh? Oh, looks like you're doing well. I'm just chilling, you know. Oh, I feel you. you know, it's pretty hot in here. Let me cool you down. It's the remix to ignition. I wish I could get things only rolling. That body got every man here wishing. You know, Oliver, in the very near future, you're gonna be out cold at my feet. <laughs> ah, I'm just dying thinking about it. <laughs> Y'all already know what time it is, so let's go. In two weeks, we'll box. Two weeks? I don't need that. What are you trying to say? I can beat you with just my feet, you big bitch. Oh, so you think you are like that for real? You really try my. Come on, Mr. Unchained. You're pathetic. Come on, lock in. Let's get it cracking. Forgive me for what's about to happen. Finally. Now let's do this. Huh? Not bad. That was a good shot. Now come on. The floor! It looks like there's a face imprinted on it! Wait, is this the demon back? Finally taking this serious. Shall we begin? What the? Hold up, man, cut. Watch the replay. Watch the replay. You see that? He just knocked out that man, bro, in one hit. My bad, Baki Hama. I gotta respect it. Too bad for you, I have this. 
can't be serious right now. Cut is rolled into a ball thing and that jump is gonna work. Huh? Niggas been watching way too much Ninja Turtles. Come on, I heard about your little fight with old boy. Go ahead and try that little technique. If you say so. Possible. Huh? Not good. Uh, hey, let me go. Don't freak oh! Hmm. Come on, Fugazi ass yeah, nigga. Get up. I want to hear you apologize. Then this fight will be over. Is that so? I guess this fight will never end then. You really are such a fool, you know that? No! You gotta stop underestimating me. Ugh. Little punk. What? Let me guess. I'll pay for that. You know what? Enough tricks. How about we step in the middle of this flow and throw fucking hands? Uh, what? 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 Are you crazy, Bucky? You see how big that man is, Bucky? Yeah, yeah, I get it. You're saying I should absolutely throw hands with him. Thing I'm sure of. Oliver won't be defeated. I will take me to him. He has 20 pounds on me. I have to beat him with strength. I gotta ball out and keep pushing him back. I gotta keep pushing all the way to the far wall and beyond. This mere boy who's really half my size is actually trying to push me back. No, he's doing it. He's actually pushing me back. Huh? Look at that. There's no one in front of me anymore. Yes, I would.